listed for about a year. Who cares? Who cares if it's been listed for a year when it sells for $333? Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for big profits. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These items were shared in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group that looks like this. And what I did is I posted a screenshot of share your best January Bolo. And I invited everybody in the Facebook group to share their Bolo. So you're going to see members of my Facebook group that have shared, but you're also going to see Bolo Buddies YouTube members. That means they have joined memberships of my YouTube channel at level two, and they get to share a bolo and be featured in the video. So I will pop up their store, eBay store, or their YouTube channel, and I will link them in the description. So if you hear that, that's what's going on there. All right, you guys, let's get started with some big money bolos. The first one here, she said, I have two good ones, but I got this book while on vacation in Colorado at a small thrift shop. I paid 50 cents for it, and it sold for $49. It is a new old stock, vintage rainbow bright, color the world book, cross stitch crafting cartoons. And this is what it looks like. Um, it looks like it's a cross stitch book, huh? Completely unused cross stitch book. I actually bought this off of Mercari for $30, sold it quickly on eBay for a best offer of $80. Okay. So here's the deal. Um, I did the video where it was about the person that bought the item for $20 on whatnot and sold it for almost a thousand. And I kind of got a little bit of a hard time for shaming the person, which I was not doing. In fact, you can go check out this video. Um, these are all bolos that came from Donatella Bottolino and Auctions for You's YouTube channel. They're people that have bought from them. I invited them to send me their bolos. And oh my goodness, this video is jam packed with bolos that they bought on their YouTube channel selling events. Oh my goodness, you gotta watch that video if you haven't. Um, but I guess my point being is, I recently just did a whatnot show and I actually undersold a couple things. <laughs> and I kind of had a feeling that they were a bolo, but I want to bring good stuff to whatnot. Like I want to. So um, I undersold it. Somebody in the chat's like, those go for like $200. And I'm like, ah, and I was like, that's okay. Um, so what I did is I did a deep dive research video on that category to help me learn and to help you guys learn. And this is what that video looks like. So definitely go check that out. But I'm not shaming myself. I'm not shaming Donatella and uh, T auctions for you for selling their items cheap to um, resellers so that they can sell it for a profit. No, who cares? We're all out there sourcing. It doesn't matter where we source, right? We can source on whatnot. She sourced this on Mercari for 30 bucks and flipped it on eBay for 80. She's not shaming the person that sold it to her for 30. She just got a good deal. You got to be out there and you got to be looking and not everybody knows everything. Okay. And I know Donna and T on their YouTube channel, they don't care. They're just bringing it. They don't look anything up. They don't have time for that. And, um, same with a lot of my whatnot stuff. Like I'm not necessarily selling to resellers, but people are buying my stuff and reselling it. I'm starting the price. And then you decide if you want to buy it for yourself or to resell it. So this is what the jacket looks like. It is a vintage Levi's type three denim trucker jeans jacket size 42 regular. Um, I don't know what Levi's type means, but if, um, if it is not actually Levi's, um, that is keyword spamming. And I don't mean to call her out on this, but I just want you guys to be very careful because you can get in trouble for keyword spamming. Um, this might be Levi's cause it says type three. So maybe, okay. I think I'm reading this wrong. Vintage Levi's type three. Okay, so maybe it's vintage Levi's and type three is something to do with 
what style it is. Okay, but that still brings me to this, how you can get a uh, Vero or a policy violation. So what is keyword spamming? An example would be like the Kugi sweaters. And you guys, it's not Kugi like I used to think. It's actually Kugi. So I said it right in a video. I said Kugi and somebody's like, you're saying it wrong. It's Kugi. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I cannot win with this word. But anyhow, um, so for example, if you find one of those wild sweaters that looks like a Kugi, you can't say Kugi style. You can't say Tiffany style or Tiffany like for like Tiffany lamps. That is keyword spamming. You can get in trouble for that. Now, are you going to get caught? Maybe, maybe not, but it's just not worth your account getting in trouble. But I think this is type three, like type three, not, um, I don't think this is keyword spamming. So I misunderstood. So anyway, bought it on Mercari for 30, sold it on eBay for 80. This is what it looks like. And if you guys want to learn more about Vero's and items not to list on eBay, definitely check out my uh, playlist because I do the same thing for Vero's. I post um, this in my Facebook group and then I invite everybody in the group to share current things that are happening to them. Either they've gotten a policy violation and the item has been removed or they got a three-day suspension. And that keeps us up to date and current on items that are being removed from eBay current time. So check out that um, playlist. Turn it on while you list. Just listen to it. Even if you don't watch it, listen to the different bureaus because some of them, I learn something new every time I do a video. All right, let's go on to the next one here. Bought a tin at an estate sale full of Victorian trade cards for $6, had about 100 cards. This one has been listed for about a year and finally sold. Who listed for about a year. Who cares? Who cares if it's been listed for a year when it sells for $333? Oh my goodness. No, $333.33. It is a Humpty Dumpty Mechanical Toy Savings Bank Rare lith Lithograph Trade Card. Albany, New York. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. That one knocked my socks off. They're over there. Just kidding. <laughs> Sometimes I'm so funny, right? Okay. Found at the bins. Oh my goodness. This is so funny. Um, it's a new um, Ancestry Ancestry. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. DNA, traits, genetic, ethnicity, and traits test. It's a DNA, ancestry DNA test. What? Somebody bought it and didn't use it. I bet they got it as a gift. And they're like, I'm not doing this. I'm not putting all my stuff out there for everybody to see. And they threw it the Goodwill and the Goodwill just threw it in the bins and she sold it for 60 bucks. Nice bolo, right? For a total of $52.53, paid under $4. Okay, if you don't know, definitely look for these. New old stock, underwear. Yep, I said underwear. These are vintage Jake and Company men's briefs. These aren't even like a popular brand. Who's heard of Jake and Company? If you've heard of Jake and Company, please let me know down in the comments. I mean, I've heard of like Hanes, but Jake and Company? Apparently it's a bolo. Uh, $40 plus shipping for this. <laughs> Men's vintage briefs. New old stock, guys. And NOS in the title. You can use that and people know uh, they will search for that. New old stock. Girlfriend jeans. Paid zero. Friend gave them to me to sell. Listed for $110 and took a best offer of $90. Sold within 10 days. And these sold on Poshmark. There you go. All right, so you can see here there is a stock photo. Um, I have heard through from my Vero videos that Poshmark, some, some get taken down. eBay, they will get you. Do not use stock photos on eBay. Poshmark, I think, is a little more lenient, but in my opinion, I would stay away from stock photos completely. Personally, for myself, if I am going to buy an item, I really don't want to see a stock photo. I want to see the a picture of the item I'm getting. Um, and maybe this is not a stock photo. Maybe she has somebody modeling it, but it looks like a stock photo to me. So 
eBay, no stock photos. Okay. Certain companies are really, really bad. They will come after you. I know it looks better because obviously it's on a model and they fit perfectly and <clears throat> it's probably not how it's going to fit you. But anyway, um, this is a curb find. Took a while to sell, but pure profit. Curb find, curb alert. Antique Francis Guillemont violin Nicholas Amati model German. There you go. It's a violin. Who puts this on the curb? I mean, seriously. And it looks like it sold on Mercari. Um, somebody put, I wish people put stuff, stuff on the curb here. Everything has to be in a trash can here. <laughs> That's funny. Given to us for free by my hubby's aunt. Sold in two days for 34. He sent out an offer, but someone else swooped in and purchased for full price. What is it? It is an em emerald all clad one quart open saucer pan with pour spouts. And this is what it looks like. All right, this next one. Got it by stopping at a yard sale that was canceled due to rain, but they allowed me to buy. Hmm, has anybody ever done that? Huh, I haven't. Like, wonder if they went up and they're like, hey, it's raining, I see your garage door shut, but you were supposed to have a garage sale today. Can I look in your garage? Is that what happened? Like, is that what happened? Or were they like driving by and they were starting to put the garage door down? Like, I need to know the whole story. I need to know it. Okay. Paid $50 for two large boxes of Lego. I would estimate this would be less than $10 for this set and sold for full asking price of $150 plus shipping in less than two days. Um, it said the black dinosaur alone has sold recently for $80. Dollars. Yes, you can part these items out for sure. This is the Jurassic Park set. Um, it's the Rampage at Lockwood, and it's complete. But oh my goodness, putting that thing together! Woo! Wonder if it was already put together. 150 bucks on that. Bought this Wellbutrin mug at a yard sale for 25 cents. Sold on Poshmark for my listing price of 175 dollars. Right there it is. Okay, so um, she said, uh, this is funny because I was just gonna mention this. Somebody wrote, had no idea these would hold value. I see this type of item a lot. Any idea why this one did so well? She said, no, I just picked it up because Rebel talks about pharmaceutical items selling well. And I was just gonna say, the Rebel reseller picks up pharmaceutical items all the time. If you are not following the Rebel reseller, definitely check her out. She is like a plush specialist. Um, she sells tons and tons of plush. Um, and her and her husband do YouTube together and they have a, an amazing channel. But yeah, she has sold a ton of mugs. Now, I will say that um, one of my friends had some pens and pencils that had pharmaceuticals. And what was the other thing? Um, it was... Oh, goodness. I'm trying to think of what it was. Like, where they come in and they um, kill, like, rodents and stuff. What's that called? Oh, goodness. You know what I'm talking about. Exterminator. I think it was, like, something to do with that or poison or something. I don't know. But she had a pen or a pencil or something like that removed. So be careful on eBay. I don't know all the details. I don't know if like the pharmaceuticals because um, like Wellbutrin is a drug, um, a prescription, I'm sorry, not drug, a prescription drug um, that you have to have a prescription for and you are not allowed to sell prescription items on eBay. So it could be a trigger word that could, if there's like, it could get picked up. Like if somebody's searching it and your listing could get removed. Um, as far as I know, Rebel has not had any issues with that. This was a pen, and I think it was for something different. I don't think it was pharmaceutical. It may have been. I'm not 100% sure. But just be careful. But she sold hers on Poshmark, so good idea, you know? Um, I don't know if Poshmark is as strict, and I think just different, um, different rules for different platforms. And this is just a mug. I mean, there's nothing wrong with selling a mug. I wouldn't think on eBay, but just because it falls into that RX category, it could get like flagged. So just be careful. 
found in a thrift for $1.99 and sold it for $44.96, $44.96. I put this item up early October and had just done a price reduction from $49 the night before. There was a missing piece on it that was fully disclosed. It is the Lennox Collection House on Haunted Lane 2002. And this is what it looks like. Yes, Lennox items are definitely a bolo. Some of them are big money bolos. Some of them are bread and butter, but it's always a good pickup, especially if you can get it for a good price. Picked up at a rural thrift store. Oh, no way. I'm sorry. Picked up at a rural thrift second time store for $5. It will sell in two days from now on seven day auction. Oh, it will sell in two days from now on a seven day auction. Oh my goodness. Do you ever read a sentence and it just doesn't flow? That's what just happened to me. Um, I messed that one up twice. Sorry about that. It's a MERC stealth USB gaming keyboard, original box tested and works. And at the time of the post, it was at $200. So I don't know what it actually sold for because there were still two days left um, for the bidding, two days and 19 hours. So, but it was currently at 200 and paid five for it. So that's great. This one comes from Bolo Buddies YouTube member, The Restless Thrifter. This is her YouTube channel. Definitely go and subscribe to her. I will have her link down below. And she does clothing. So if you guys are into clothing, definitely check her out because me, this girl, not into clothing. Paid 88 cents average cost of goods at the Denver Goodwill bins. Accepted a best offer for 110 plus shipping. First time finding this brand, Definite Bolo, and this one was really cool. It is a Dale of Norway. Now, I've heard of that, and I know it's a Bolo just from doing videos, but it's a wool ski sport sweater, and this is what it looks like. So, that is awesome. Bought at the Goodwill, paid $15 for it, sold for full price of $424 within two weeks. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's a Hello Kitty and it's new old stock. It's the 30th anniversary plush. I'm sure that it's being in the original box really increased the value. $424.99 in two weeks. Right there. And it was at the Goodwill for $15. That is crazy. All right. Oh my goodness. This is so funny. Oh, this is the one. This is the one. Okay. Bought on high bid for $34, sold on Etsy for $450. After some haggling about shipping, which I ended up giving as free. And this one comes from YouTube channel Flip It Friends. And I recently did a video on these dolls because I uh, sold one of these on Whatnot and there's a whole story behind it, but I undersold it and I also sold some little pots. I undersold them big time. Uh, go check out this video right here to learn more about what I undersold on Whatnot. But um, yeah, so this one comes from Flip It Friends. There it is. Definitely check her out down below. Oh, and she has like four or five Etsy stores and they are all linked in the description of her videos. So if you guys are like into Etsy, but anyway, I forgot to tell you the title of the doll. It's an original sculpture, Southwestern tribal storyteller, mother of 11 children, Mexican uh, doll. And I don't know if this one was signed or not. Mine was signed. Mine was much smaller. Again, go check out that video for details. All right, bought this at an estate sale. The table lighter is only three inches. I paid five and sold it on eBay for a best offer of $325. It took about two weeks to sell. I just want to say you all are amazing. Uh, vintage C1900 bronze smoking poodle, fun dog, top hat, cigar striker table lighter. This is what it looks like. Bolo. Wife and I found this gem at a town-wide yard sale for a dollar. Started cross-posted started cross -posted listings higher than recent sold comps, eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, and sold within two weeks for 93 on Mercari. The Legend of Zelda Nintendo 64 promo black employee hat vintage. So $93 on Mercari. So I think what they're saying is that maybe they had their items on eBay and then they started cross-posting to Mercari and Poshmark 
and listed the items higher on those platforms, which is what I do as well. Um, I always list higher on those platforms. And I start my items on eBay. I use List Perfectly to cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. If you guys are not using List Perfectly, it is fantastic. It helps you get your items on other platforms quickly. And more platforms, more eyes. There's people that do not shop on eBay. And I will tell you, they are going to find your item on Mercari and Poshmark. So it is definitely very important. But they, they also have on List Perfectly like Depop. Grail. They just added some new one I've never heard of. I think they have Trade Z. I don't, there's a whole bunch. Etsy's on there. Um, but you can also list into the catalog and then cross post to everything. But I do have a link of how to do it. It's a demo down in the description of the video. Definitely check that out. And if it's something you're interested in trying, you can use coupon referral code BOLA BUDDIES, all one word, and that will get you 30% off your first month. I have been using the service since 2019 and I have nothing bad to say about it. I absolutely love it. So that is my testimony <laughs> and I'm sticking to it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Bought at the bins costs 50 cents. It is a Guinness Newsboy hat, cabby, flat, cap driver, golf, beer, men, gray, pinstripe. So those are all the keywords. $29.95. And this is a cabbie. So that's cabbie cap. That's a good uh, keyword for those style of hats. I always get these and I'm like, I can't remember what they're called. I know people golf in them. So cabbie and newsboy are good words. All right. So that's a nice little bread and butter right there. Pick it up at the bins. Those things are hiding in the bins all the time. Scratched, untested. And the second time I'd been in to this lady's yard sale, <laughs> spent $3.00 for four games and a puffer vest that I haven't listed yet. Buyer paid full price plus shipping. I had 10% off store ride, so all in for 133. So it's scratched, untested, and she missed it the first time she was at the garage sale. You gotta love this. And it sold for 129.95 plus shipping. It's the PS2 Dragon Ball Z Buda, Budokai, 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 I don't know. Tena Kanachi? What? This is what it looks like. I can't say those words. We're just moving on here. December sale that I forgot to share. The military, the military used these boots and they are 200 to 300 a pair. Got these for $10 from a retired military spouse's having a sale. Didn't fit my son, so I sold them for 180 on offer. Bought a storage unit and got a second pair. They fit my son, so they are in his room for when he has leave and if they don't fit they'll go on ebay as used rocky s2v waterproof insulated military boots wow 180 dollars. that's awesome purchased from the salvation army for seven dollars and sold for asking price of 109 plus shipping and less than 12 hours after listing it is a bed jet cloud sheet single zone king air comforter heating and cooling but this is what it looks like. Obviously, the person buying it, it says cloud sheet. So I wonder if it's one of those like um, like a heated sheet. Like you can either heat it up or cool it down. Pretty cool, right? Salvation Army, seven bucks. Okay, one more. Paid $8 at the local Goodwill. Sold same day, listed within five hours and sold it for $299.99. Ooh, these things right here. Do not want to ship these things. I hate shipping breakables, especially things like this. Like, how do you just even make this work? Well, I'll tell you how. Go watch Toledo Antique. Um, this is their YouTube channel. They have a whole bunch of videos where they teach you how to ship a bunch of things like this, um, where it's big sets of China. I mean, they'll ship 50, 60, 70 pieces. And I'm like, that is just not even worth the time. But some of their items sell for over $1,000. So maybe that would be worth it. But um, this one isn't too bad. What, there's two, four, six, eight, ten pieces in this. Not too bad. Um, and that's a really nice profit. But it is Tivana Ruby Filigree Bone China Tea Set. Nine piece. So they're counting the pot as one. 
Um, but yeah, Toledo Antique, if you want shipping videos, go check out their YouTube channel and I will link them down in the description of the video. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for watching. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here. One down below, a subscribe button right here, I think it is, or maybe it's over here. I get it mixed up. But um, definitely subscribe if you're new here. If you're new here, let me know how you found the channel. And if you've been here forever, tell me how long you've been here and how you found the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, I am selling on Whatnot now, so there's a link down below. Come check me out over there. Having lots of fun. I'd love to see you guys in the chat because I will be live. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. It helps you get your eyes on other... I'm sorry. <laughs>